been swept away. Rescue teams from 45 countries are now on standby as Japan begins to assess the full effects of the catastrophe which will test its preparations and its national resolve to the limits. Robert Hall, BBC News. Well, let's get the latest now live from Japan. Our correspondent Roland Burke is in Tokyo. And uh, Roland, in a way, it's not over yet, is it? I mean, the strong aftershocks have been shaking Japan all through the night. Yes, we had one uh, about uh, two minutes ago. There have been dozens in the 15 hours since the big quake uh, hit. The most serious about an hour ago in the Nagano and Niigata area over on the other side of Honshu. Uh, that one uh, measured six on the Japanese scale uh, of intensity, which goes from uh, one to seven. And there is a warning there now uh, that perhaps another one uh, might be coming. But the real damage uh, has been on the Pacific coast, uh, north of Tokyo, uh, where the tsunami hit. Uh, horrifying pictures coming out, uh, but now dawn is coming up. Horrifying numbers too. Uh, we're hearing that uh, 1,200 homes have been completely uh, destroyed, a university campus completely destroyed, some schools partially destroyed. Uh, in one uh, ward, one small part of the city of Sendai, uh, the police said they found uh, nearly 300 bodies. Uh, and in another town uh, on that coast, 300 homes were engulfed uh, by water that swept in uh, at rooftop height. And in Tokyo, where you are now, as you say, day is, uh, dawn is breaking, but I mean, thousands of people have been stranded in the city overnight, literally unable to get home. Yeah, I'm looking uh, around me here, people uh, in the offices around have been uh, camped out on the floor all night, are starting to stir. Uh, many people who live uh, anywhere nearby chose to...